episode of Grassroots Garage, we have Mitch's absolute beast of a Datsun 1200 wagon, Nuts 12. Starting its life with a CA18 turbo and running a best quarter of 960, Mitch wanted more. So he went for the unconventional route of a Mitsubishi 4G63 engine conversion. The Nitto 2.2 Stroker is sporting 280 Kelp cams, 2400cc injectors and has a Garrick G35 1050 bolted onto the side of it and it pushes out over 750 horsepower. Since filming the app, he's run an 8th mile 551 at 128 miles per hour. Welcome to Grassroots Garage. This thing's a little weapon. It's Mitch's car. Mitch, thanks for your time, man. No worries. Mate, tell us about it. Um, yeah, Datsun 1200 wagon, 4G63, power glide, high lock stiff. Cut to, cut to the footage of when you popped your bonnet. I was filming, and I'm like, yeah, the 4G pops out. It's something different. I love a good 4G. What made you go 4G? Because CA is a shit. <laughs> you heard that here first. <laughs> uh, hang on, guys. I think there's a certain little white nugget ute down in New South Wales called On Corn that might take offence to that. But more on that story later, because he sure can send it. Had you had a couple of CA power cars? Yeah, you? I had, this was originally CA, I had a sedan that was CA. Yeah. And they're just trying to wring its neck, so. Just headaches? Yeah, headaches. Uh, like head stuff, cracks on the heads, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Breathing issues as well, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, this is far better. Has this thing done a number? It's done a number with the CA, it went 960. So what do you reckon now? It's got another 300 and something horsepower, so low to mid eight. <laughs> Mate, the 4Gs are basically indestructible. Like, if you're, if you're watching this and you want to get, see something really interesting, cut to that video I did with Koval, and he goes into the concrete block, all the R&D that went into that car, years and years to pump out a 1,000 horsepower yeah. out of it. You've got four link and all that sort of stuff? No, no? still standard leaf springs okay. and wow. pilot stiff. Yeah, I look, forward to, I look forward to seeing it on the back wheels, man. Yeah, it's it's gonna does, be it does pick up a little bit, but oh. yeah, not, not kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. So when are we? When are you expecting to run it? I just got to put some split monos in the back, and some sliders, and then yeah, probably soon. Would you change anything on an unlimited budget, or this is it? Mm, no, this would be it. Maybe a bigger tire. Yeah, you wouldn't fall. You wouldn't fall in or start going down that road. Nah, no, love that. No, it still kind of seems to work. Just a yeah. bigger tire would probably bigger help, tire. like a two seven five or something. Take me right back to the start. Tell me about your first car. Yeah. It was uh, LJ Tirana. LJ Tirana, which I yeah. still got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you still got it? Yeah, still in the shed. Wow. In how, what's the condition yeah, of it now? Uh, needs a bit of work. Bit rough. Yeah, that's yeah, alright. But still there. And then, so where, what? Normally, guys who start in LJs never, never come down to Datsun. In their opinion, yeah. down to Datsun. What made you then come down to I Datsun? Just like the styling of the 1200s. Yeah, and so people don't get all upset. I don't mean down as in like down as in not as good. I mean smaller. Yeah. Smaller. Everything's yeah, like you oh, don't, I, you I don't love my fours. Heap, obviously, heaps of power to make them go good. Yeah, yeah. But tight even package, that, it does you know? have a bit of power. But mm. Mate, that's it for Mitch and his beautiful 1200 wagon. Mitch, you're a legend. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Mate, easy as that. That wraps up this Dats in Heaven short story. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.